2023. It's a new year, which means new K-pop. We're one month in and I honestly don't know how to feel about a lot of the releases. On one hand we've had some absolute bangers. But on the other, a lot of really anticipated comebacks just ended up being kind of disappointing. Beautiful Liar was just fine. Moonlight Sunrise was fine. Stamp on it was less than fine. Honestly I think it just pisses me off that SM gathered some of the most talented and influential women in K-pop into one group, only to give them this generic shit to sing. Then again, at least the lyrics in this one are a little better than Step Back. For me, there's just nothing particularly memorable about Stamp On It. While the lyrics may be an improvement from Step Back, Stamp On It doesn't even begin to challenge Step Back in terms of quality. But if they stick with their current pattern, SM has a year to pull themselves together and give these women the music they deserve. Speaking of great women with bad music, let's talk about Moonlight Sunrise. Okay, maybe that's a little harsh. I actually don't mind Moonlight Sunrise. I've had, I guarantee I gotcha, stuck in my head all week, and I love Young's rap too. But like I said earlier, it's just fine, and I had higher expectations for twice. It is just a pre-release though, so my hopes are still high for the full album. But it's not all been disappointments this month. Aurora by Signature was great. Moonbin and Sanha's latest comeback, Madness, is my new favorite song from them. And Jimin's collab with Taeyang is absolutely great fun. The music video is a little lackluster and the chorus is slightly underwhelming, but otherwise it's a great song, and I always find myself tapping my feet along to it. Speaking of collabs, Yana's comeback was a really pleasant surprise. After Smiley and Smartphone, I had a very clear image of the kind of music I expected from her, and Love War was definitely not it. Not that I'm complaining. I absolutely love this song. It's calm and chill without being boring, the chorus is catchy and melodic, and I think Yana's voice suits it perfectly. Truly deserves more than 7 million views. Another unexpectedly great song this month came from XG. I'm not a fan of the verses, but holy shit, I could listen to the pre-chorus and chorus all day. It's just so damn fun, and the visuals make me feel 10 years old again as I tried and failed to beat Rainbow Road in Mario Kart. Even though all of these songs are great, Two of my favorite songs of January haven't even been official releases. And of course, one of them is Idol by Yunjin. This song is spectacular. Everything from the lyrics to her vocals to her own art in the background, is incredible. And I have the utmost respect and admiration for Yunjin saying exactly what needs to be said. There have been a lot of other songs that also criticize the K-pop industry like Idol does. Songs like I Use 23 that criticizes the infantilization of idols. Or Ah Yeah by Exit that calls attention to the sexist double standards in K-pop. But I can't think of one that challenges the industry as directly as Yunjin does here. Yunjin says she wants to change the industry? I can't wait to see it. In other news, I think I cried my eyes out to Dreamcatcher's Reason. This song is fucking amazing. The rock instrumental is so rare to see in K-pop and they pull it off perfectly. I'm actually devastated that this isn't being promoted on music shows, because I think everyone needs to hear it. And don't even get me started on how incredible the music video is. 
Watching them grow and interact with their fans, interspersed with these beautiful bits of animation, makes the whole video so genuinely heartwarming and inspiring that it brought me to tears. And I'm not even a Dreamcatcher fan. I can't help but root for the underdogs and it's so nice to see a group from a no-name company, with a niche concept, work their way up from nothing. Dreamcatcher deserves everything they've achieved because they've worked damn hard for it. Undeniably, there are two songs that sit above them all this month. A great song to start January, and a great one to end it. Of course, they are OMG and Sugar Rush Ride. Before we start anything else, I have to make something real clear. OMG is better than Ditto. Fight me. I don't think new jeans are going to be able to surpass Hype Boy or attention anytime soon, if ever, and OMG certainly doesn't come close, but it's damn good. While I'm not sure I entirely get the storyline they've got going on, and I'm definitely not a fan of hunting through a 10 minute long music video just to find the song. As long as their music stays as brilliant as it's been so far, I'm here for the long run. New jeans have really set the bar high for everyone else this year, and I can't wait to see what else they've got planned. If anyone's going to rise up to new jeans level, it's TXT. Sugar Rush Ride is a beautiful blend of old school TXT, and angsty boy TXT. The verses are bright and refreshing, and the chorus perfectly showcases their mature side. I'm not really a fan of anti-drops as a lot of them are done really badly, but this one hits hard. TXT has one of the most solid discographies of the fourth gen in my opinion, and this album is no exception. Devil by the Window, Tinnitus, Farewell Neverland, they are all incredible, and I think this is a great start to what's gonna be an amazing year. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Let me know what your favorite songs of January were, and I'll see you next time.